Hey, Grayson Rose here, Chief Strategist at Stock Charts, coming to you with a quick tour of one of the most powerful resources on the entire Stock Charts platform. This is our new all in one market summary dashboard. It's a professionally curated collection of data, charts, and chart lists that you can bring into your market analysis process with absolutely zero setup work or time intensive configuration. In one resource, you have everything you need to understand truly every corner of the financial markets and the internals that are really moving them beneath the surface. So we're going to run through it all and get you started with what I suspect is going to quickly become your go-to tool for following the markets. Let's dive in. So welcome to our new market summary dashboard. First and foremost, there are a couple of things that we want to cover off right at the top of the page. You might breeze by them, but they are massively important. I want to draw your attention to the time frame menu. This is in the top left corner of the page. This allows you to select different time frames that you see for the data on the page. Now, when you select one of these different time frames, for instance, one week, you'll see a couple of things change on this page. You'll get new mini charts right up at the top. But throughout the page, you're also going to see the change and percent change data change on this page. You'll also see that reflected in the column header. So keep a, qu a quick eye on that. Now, that bar is going to stick with you right at the top of the screen as you scroll down. So you always have access to that time frame menu. If you want to change it on the fly as you go, you can do that right from the top of the screen. So make sure that you are aware of that time frame menu. Next up, you also have an auto refresh option. This will automatically refresh the data on the page without you having to manually refresh the entire page. Now, as we scroll through here, you're going to see that there are tons and tons of different sections. We've really broken things up into equities and we have a, hun a bunch of different panels to help you drill into those equity markets. But we're also going to show you panels for intermarket analysis, for bonds, for commodities and for currencies, even some other asset classes as well. So if you want to quickly jump to any of those different sections of the page, use the quick scroll menus uh, right here in the top right corner to jump down to, for instance, the commodity section of the page. It makes it easy to access anything further down. Now, as we scroll here just a little bit, remember that these mini charts, which again are going to change depending on the time frame that you select, remember that these are scrollable. So if you're on a device that you can scroll horizontally with, you can actually scroll horizontally to see more of those different groups. You can also use the little blue buttons on the left, uh, on the right side of the page to scroll left and right here. As we scroll down, I want to pause on the equities panel for a brief second. We're going to use this as kind of an example for the structure of these different panels moving forward. So first and foremost, you have a couple of different tabs across the top of these different panels. In the case of our equities panel, you have a tab for global snapshot. That's going to show you some of the key indexes around the entire world outside of the U.S. We're going to drill into the U.S. indexes here with the, uh, the default tab there. You've got a classic set of the common U.S. indexes. And next up, you have a country funds tab. You're going to see this convention reflected across a bunch of the different panels as we go. So remember that you can tab between these different groups on each of these different panels. I want to make sure that you are aware of that. Now, next up, I want to draw your attention to the right side of the screen, the top right corner of this panel. Again, this is kind of a common convention across a lot of these different panels that we're going to show you. You have a charts menu. When you open that up, we've got quick access to different charts and different chart lists that are important for that panel that you're looking at. So in the case of the equities panel, all of these different groups that you see reflected here on the tabs, we've actually organized those with custom curated charts into these different lists. You can quickly pull up and save chart lists for those groups. We've also got some sort of chart extensions. So in this case, we have, for instance, a tactical timing chart that shows you a five-day moving average on an intraday time frame. We've got a really unique S&P 500 earnings chart that, uh, that pairs nicely with some of these different equity indexes. So make sure that you're opening up these chart menus in each corner of the, uh, the panels as we go. Uh, those are going to give you quick access to, again, curated lists of uh, key indexes and curated charts that you can start using with absolutely no setup. Just use them as they are. 
Next up, we also do have a little info box in the top right corner of all these different panels. So make sure you take a little bit of time if you're wondering why we've done something the way we have or what the data in that panel is, make sure you open up that tooltip and take a quick read through the uh, little help menu there. That'll give you some more context for what is included in that panel. Now, of course, in the different panels themselves, you have data tables. In some, you have charts. You have uh, other visuals. We'll get uh, into more of that as we go. For all of these data tables, of course, you can sort by any of the different factors that you want. So by default, the tables are going to be sorted in the order that you see. But for instance, if you want to sort by percent change or daily streak or per distance from the 20-day the moving average, any of those different columns, you can give that column header a click and that'll quickly and easily sort by that different metric. So remember that these tables are sortable. They are gonna have a default sort order to them, but you can change that depending on what you want to see. Now, lastly, I wanna cover off the buttons that are at the bottom of these panels. Again, this is kind of a convention that's repeated throughout the page in a couple of the different panels that you're gonna see. Uh, we have these quick action sort of navigation buttons down at the bottom of each panel. Now, in some cases, these are gonna lead you to charts that are relevant for that group you're seeing. For instance, here in the bottom right corner, we have a tactical timing chart, similar to what we mentioned uh, up at the top in that charts menu. On the left side of the screen, we have different buttons that'll lead you to the individual members of some of these key indexes that are represented in the US indexes panel. So if you wanna see the Dow stocks, the S&P 500 stocks, maybe the NASDAQ 100 stocks, you can use those buttons to actually open up those uh, groups on a different tool. So these buttons that you're going to see at the bottom of each panel are related to the panel you're looking at. And in many cases, they're also related to the specific tab that you're looking at. For instance, if you click over to our country funds tab here in the equities panel, you're going to see all of those country funds. And then down at the bottom, you're going to see a button for the market carpet that'll take you over to a collective visualization that's gonna bring all of those into one tool. So remember, as you're going through this page, keep an eye on those little navigation buttons at the bottom of each panel. Remember to explore those as well. So of course, first up at the top of the page, we have our equities panel drilling into different corners of the equity, uh, equities markets, uh, some of the key indexes that we like to follow as investors. Next up, we start to really drill into the equity market. This whole page is about drilling down beneath the surface, going beyond just what the Dow is doing or how the S&P 500 is trading. So this page is intended to really drill into different corners of the equity markets. For instance, here in our market factors panel, we have a large map that splits the market and organizes it by a couple of different key factors. So of course, on the left side here, you have large, mid, and small cap, classic way to organize by size. But for each of those different size buckets, we also have some key factors, value, core, growth, revenue, momentum, low volatility, and quality. So this gives you an interesting sense of what's happening in the markets across different corners. Again, not just what the S&P 500 is doing, but what about large cap growth or small cap value, different factors like that. Now, once again, as you change the time frame, this is going to change with you. So if you want to see how this factors map has changed over the last one month, or if you want to see it for today specifically, you can use that time frame menu in the top left corner of the page to change that up. Next up, we have our Keller market models designed by David Keller, a close partner of ours, uses weekly PPO values that David has created to identify short-term trend, intermediate-term trend, and long-term trend for key averages. Now we have a macro model that's gonna bring in stocks, bonds, commodities, and the US dollar. I like to stay focused as a stocks guy on the stocks model. That's gonna show you large caps, mid caps, small caps, and that more growth-heavy, uh, tech-heavy NASDAQ 100. Now I'm gonna pause here because one of the interesting things about this page, again, in the spirit of curating things for you and creating things for you, Everything on this page that you're going to see, so much of it is, uh, as we say, clickable. So in the case, for instance, of the Keller market models, if you're wondering what these Keller market models, these PPOs actually look like, well, you can give this a click and open up a chart that's actually going to show you exactly how Dave is coming up with those short, intermediate, and long-term uh, trends. 
So again, lots and lots of things on this page are clickable and lots of things are sort of pre-built for you. So if you want to access uh, any of those Keller market model charts, you can do so by simply clicking on the index that you're curious about. Next up, we have our breadth panel. This is going to show you advancing and declining issues on the day, again, for key indexes, as well as the percentage of stocks above key moving averages uh, for a large collection of indexes. A classic visualization of breadth and gives you different time frames, 20-day, 50-day, 100-day, and 200-day as well. Once again, you've got key charts to watch in that charts drop-down menu, so make sure that you are following along with those. Next up, we also have another spin on breadth with our bullish percent indexes. We can split those in a couple of different ways for major indexes, but also for the sectors of the market. So we can drill down even further. We can also put those major BPIs onto one chart, and you can see those right here on the screen. If you want to get a quick view of that, you've got access to it right here, but you can click that chart to open up a full-size version on the Sharp Charts workbench. We also have new highs and new lows on this page for a couple of different timeframes. We've got daily highs for all-time highs, 52-week highs, nine-month, six-month, three-month, and one-month, again, for a key collection of major indexes. This is going to show you stocks making those highs for those timeframes today. But we can also do the same for weekly highs. So in this case, this will show you stocks for these indexes making all-time highs, 52-week highs, nine-month highs, six-month highs, three-month highs, or one-month highs at any point this week. So a little bit of a step back to show you stocks making those new highs across those different time frames on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. Again, everything is clickable here. So if you want to see the individual stocks that make up any of these uh, new high values, simply give that number a click and that'll show you the individual stocks that are actually triggering those results. We can do the exact same thing for new lows. We can show you daily lows and we can show you weekly lows as well. Once again, you can click on any of those numbers to open up the results that are driving those values. We have sentiment data on this page, things like the VIX, put call ratios, the name exposure index, and the classic AAII bulls versus bears survey. We can also jump over to a longer term volatility chart. We do have a small chart of the VIX up at the top of this page, but for a little bit more context, you've got a VIX chart right here. And you have a positioning and exposure chart, combining put call ratios with some of those exposure indexes like the name exposure index down here. Shows you how traders are positioning versus how professional money managers are positioning as well. We also like to show key ratios on this page. So different ways to measure different corners of the market relative to each other. We've got size ratios, offense versus defense ratios. We've got different U.S. factor ratios, similar to what we showed in the market factors map. And we have a couple of key global ratios showing how the U.S. is doing versus other areas of the globe, as well as emerging versus developed markets. Next up, we can dive into the sectors of the market, once again, spinning that in a couple of different flavors. We've got the classic cap weight sectors, but we also have equal weight sector funds and small cap sector funds to really show you different corners of the markets and different sort of flavors of the market, drilling down again beneath the surface. For any of these, again, you can click on the name of the index to open up a chart of that index. And I personally like to sort by scooter because in each of these groups, we have the relevant benchmark. So in this case, you can sort by scooter, that's our stock charts technical rank, to quickly see which sector funds are the strongest and which sector funds are stronger than the S&P 500 or the market, the benchmark itself. Once again, those uh, navigation buttons down at the bottom of this panel are going to be very helpful for you. So if you want to open a sectors RRG or a candle glance or a perf chart or use our sector summary drill down tool, you've got quick access to those at the bottom of the screen as well. Similar concept for U.S. industries. We've got some key bellwether industry groups that we like to follow to give us a sense of how the market is doing, again, beneath the surface. But if we want to step back and look at all of the major industry groups, we also have a Dow Industries panel that will bring in a larger group of all the Dow industries all in one place. From there, we step out of the equity markets a little bit. We can show inner market analysis, drill into some of those relationships between stocks, bonds, commodities, oil, gold, and the U.S. dollar. This is a classic view, again, based on John Murphy and his uh, seminal work in inner market analysis and the relationships between these different asset classes. So we've got the table here on the left 
But I love to think about those intermarket relationships using this chart over on the right. Once again, you get a small version of that, but if you wanna open up a full size version of that chart, simply give it a click and you can open that in the Sharp Charts Workbench. We've got a bonds panel here showing you yields across different time frames: 30 year, 10 year, five year, three month, or if you wanna step back to the end of day versions, you can actually bring in a couple other uh, treasury yields as well. This is also gonna show you the Fed Fund's target rate and yield on the S&P 500, as well as a nice, quick, handy little yield curve to show you whether that is normalized or inverted. In the case of an inverted yield curve, you'll see this change and it becomes really, really easy to see exactly when that yield curve inverts because you'll have that right on this page here. Sort of bundling all of that up into one view, we have a nice handy bonds chart that I've personally followed for years. This is a very handy way to, uh, to track major yields, understanding what's happening in the bonds market. Again, give that a click to open up a full-size version or open up that charts menu up in the top right corner and that'll give you all of the different charts for all of those bonds as well as that yields comparison chart up at the top. Finally, we have key assets split across one panel. So we have a key assets group here that's gonna take some of the top indexes that, uh, that we like to follow, things like Bitcoin, the CRB index, uh, crude oil, natural gas, gold, different things like that. Gonna put that all in one panel. This is a nice handy little way to track some of those other major assets uh, without having to drill into the larger lists. If you do wanna drill into those larger lists though, you've got a commodities group, you've got a currencies group, you even have a cryptocurrencies group that's gonna bring in a large group of cryptos. Again, you can click on any of these indexes to open up a custom curated pre-formatted chart for that index. Makes it very, very easy to follow along with these. And if you wanna get any of those lists, you can open up that charts menu in the top right corner. That's gonna give you access to those lists as well as a helpful little bonus an economic indexes list that uh, gives you some very, very interesting economic data uh, in a pre-formatted set of charts. Now, finally, we have our market summary chart pack. If you're interested in using this page and you really wanna take it to the next level, look for this blue box down at the bottom of the screen. That's gonna give you access to our market summary chart pack. All of the lists, all of the data, all of the charts that we've pre-built for you are available to install into your Stock Charts account in one click. Everything that you just saw, you can get charts for all of that data, all of those different lists, all those different groups that we were just covering. You can get it all in one click. So install this into your Stock Charts account. That's going to take 28 of those professionally curated lists, all of the charts within put them into your Stock Charts account in just a, uh, a quick click. It literally just takes a second and it is totally free for Stock Charts members. So again, if you really wanna take your market summary experience to the next level, highly recommend installing that market summary chart pack. So thanks for watching our whirlwind tour of the new market summary page and the accompanying market summary chart pack. I am sure as you get into it and bring this tool into your process, you're gonna see the value of all this data all these charts, all these chart lists pre-built for you all in one place. So enjoy, and as always, keep calm and chart on, my friends.